Do you want to have an overpowered team of pals mid-game? Well, you can get some of the strongest attacking pals for fighting through breeding. This list then only contains pals which are available at high levels in the wild, so over level 40, but are received by breeding lower level pals together. For example, breeding two level 20 pals, getting you one that is only found at level 45, for example, like Anubis, if that makes sense. The remaining pals are not added as they require a pal that is already close to the level you find it at. So I didn't include Shadowbeak in the list, for example, because it can only be bred with another Shadowbeak or an Astagon, which are also both level 40, so you can't get it early or mid game. And that is the case for 99% of the pals. There are over 18,000 pal combinations and only 7 pal combinations in the entire game result in breeding mid-level pals to get pals which are over level 40 only in the wild. And I will show you all 7 in this list and that means you can get a team that is overpowered early to mid game as soon as you can build the breeding station at level 19. Now not only are these end game pals, but 4 of the 7 are actually pals which are the best type in the game in terms of stats, so these are 100% worth getting as soon as you can. Let's take a look. Number 1 is a water pal called Yarmintide, the best and strongest water type in pal world and is only found in the wild at level 45 as a boss fight. As soon as you unlock the breeding station, you need to catch an Elizabeth found here in the wild, in or around the area that surrounds the second tower boss fight. and a Relaxosaurus, which is found here on the map, which is another low level pal you can get no problem. You simply throw these guys into the breeding pen together and you will get yourself Yarmintide, which is the strongest water pal in game. The next strongest combination is Anubis, only found in the wild again as a level 45 boss fight, and you can breed him with Elizabeth, which you should already have from the previous combination, and Dinosaur, a pal located across the grassy parts of the map, but is most commonly found in the very start of the game. Number 3 is the game's best and strongest electric type, and it's the electric dragon or zerk. Like every pal on this list, it's only found in the wild after level 40, but you can catch a level 18 Grisbolt in the number 1 wildlife sanctuary, and you can breed that with a Relaxosaurus, which you should have caught for the Yarmintide, which we mentioned earlier. Number 4, the game's best grass type, Lylene. You'll need some different pals this time to breed. Masanda, found here on the map where you can also catch Elizabeths. You can then breed that with Petalia, located in the number 1 Wild Elf Sanctuary, in the same place you catch Grisbolt.
Number five on the list is Menesting. One of the strongest pals in game, but it's not technically the best of its type. There are some stronger dark and ground type pals, but it's still a very powerful pal and one of the best in game, and it's one which you can only find in the wild after level 40. You need simply an Elizabeth, which you should already have, and you need to catch a Hell Zephyr, which you can find in the same place as Elizabeth, but only at night time. Number 6 on the list is Warsect. Again, not the best of its type, but still one of the strongest pals in game, and can only be found in level 40 in the wild. You can breed Relaxosaurus, which you should already have, and a Sweeper, which you can catch very early as a boss fight as well, at level 11. Lastly, number seven on our list is we're going to breed two of the pals we've made together, Lylene and Menesting, and you will get Lylene Knocked, which is one of the strongest dark type pals in the game as well. So then guys, there we have it. As soon as you're level 19, you can build the breeding pen, and then all you need to do is catch an Elizabeth, Balaxosaurus, Grisbolt, Dinosaur, Missanda, Hell's Effort, and Sweeper. All pals which should be around the level which you are to unlock the breeding pen, level 19. You can then use them to breed together and create seven of the strongest pals in game that would only otherwise be found after level 40 in the wild. And not only that, but half of them, in terms of stats, are the strongest pals of their type in-game, which are Yormantide, Anubis, or Zerk, and Mylene. So if you found this guide helpful, like and subscribe, leave a comment as well on what your thoughts are on these combinations, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.